Hi everyone, welcome back. Today we're taking a look at the Giotto's Silk Road YTL8353. This is a tripod that's available in two different versions and I've only tried this one, which is the newer version. The uh, slightly older version costs about 25 pound less. So it's about 100 pounds and 125 pounds for this version, both of which are carbon fiber, both of which are about 1.3 kilograms in weight, which is ultra light. That's the lightest full-size tripod that I found it actually goes way over my head in height. So very tall, very lightweight and very sturdy. I think it is a fantastic tripod and I love that it has this uh, sort of uh, arm that allows you to bring the camera out far when you want to do a, a top view shot or whatever. This thing is super, super useful and it doesn't come with this head. Uh, you can get some heads from Giotto's, which I think are you know, very similar to most of the other Arca Swiss heads. Uh, they're just not for me. So I love these little Joby heads. Uh, I'll have, you know, a link to a separate video about that, about why I like these, but you know, they're lightweight. I love the quick release on them. And you know, they just work really well for a lightweight head. And you can also potentially use one of these. Uh, so this is made by various companies. Uh, I think the uh, original was uh, Velbon. And then, uh, you know, there was a Yum Tang and a bunch of other stuff. This one's uh, got the uh, Mogopod sticker on it. But basically, super lightweight for a fluid head that actually works as an actual fluid head. It's actually smooth. Uh, this one is uh, 640 grams. Now, I've not tried both versions, but as far as I can tell, the only difference is that this one is slightly more slim because it has this uh, pole that's, instead of it being round, it's sort of this uh, strange sort of shape to allow the legs to close up right up against it like that. I don't think there was any difference in the weight or anything like that. So uh, I, I haven't tried that one. I don't know how sturdy it is compared to this one. I assume it's going to be very similar, but if someone wants to buy that one and then comment below and uh, let us know what the cheaper version is like, then uh, let us know. Now let's do a full stability test with this and at the same time show you guys how quick it is to open and close. So uh, this will be obviously similar to most tripods, but because it's got these uh, flip locks, I find it just much easier to open and close. I just really prefer this system. So that and like this. Okay, so we've got this open and these legs will open further by using these little things. Press that and then raise the leg and that'll lock into the next place. And then once again, for that one to go even lower. And this thing comes with a replaceable piece for here. So that means if you want to go super low to the ground without this thing getting in the way, then you can do that. So now here it is with the legs bent to the halfway stop. Here is how low it will go to the ground, about as low as any tripod will go. And then, uh, you know, obviously ignoring this. So it'd be about yay big off the ground. To replace this piece with the shorter one, all you have to do is unscrew the bottom piece and you unscrew this piece, which, uh, you know, just as easy, you just unscrew it and then replace this with the shorter one. Now, personally, I'm not going to be carrying that extra piece because for me, it's much easier to just do this when I want a low shot that's very, very low to literally just do this, lock it in place there, there and there and then tilt the camera's screen up towards me a little bit so that it's at a good angle. Now I'm not very tall, but as you can see, this will go above most people's heads. Uh, the camera is gonna be somewhere around there. And if you wanna get it even a tiny bit higher, you can close the legs up a little bit and it'll go even more. So that is a fantastic height for a tripod that's this lightweight. So let's do a little bit of an extreme stability test here. And of course, most fluid heads and cameras are not gonna cause this much stress on this, but uh, let's try it out and see how stable it is. So I'm gonna grab onto this and really give it a bit of a, a wrench in all directions and see how much I can get this to sort of twist or move. And so I'm gonna be doing something like this. As you can see, the legs are absolutely, I mean, nearly rock solid. That is fantastic. Even from here, if I'm trying to bend it by pushing this really hard, I'm only managing to move it the tiniest little bit. So, I mean, that is really, really impressive. Now this place here is where we are actually lacking a tiny bit in stability. And as you can see, if I push this, it has, it has a tiny bit of wiggle room, uh, it, you know, and I'm pushing it quite hard, but there is that little bit of wiggle room. And that's not gonna cause any issue for normal use, but for use with a slider, we wanna get something that is 
just as solid as possible. So here it is set up with the Lang S3 slider, very lightweight, it's 1.4 kilograms, very smooth, very stable here at the uh, carriage. So the weight of all these three together is 3.3 kilograms. This tripod just isn't quite there for stability for holding up a slider. Now it will hold it nice and strong, but there is some lack of stability and that's mostly coming from this. Now I did try to also uh, weigh it down with a bag in order to try and prevent that instability, but it doesn't help a huge amount. Now I could also try connecting something between here. I'll send this video to um, Giotto's. Maybe they'll make a little add-on that you can buy that like a little shim that fits between this and this. That would be fantastic. Now here's a great example of why I absolutely love that extension arm on this tripod. So uh, by the way, the uh, Manfrotto, tripod that has this same sort of feature actually won't be sort of adjustable in all these different sort of this one will basically adjust to any angle or whatever you want and the Manfrotto will only go horizontal or vertical and so that's why I chose this one because for me this this is a big thing being able to do that so I've got this uh, sort of uh, piece of wood, sort of a tabletop sort of video set up. I've got the lighting uh, set up that I showed in yesterday's video. Right now I'm just using this. As you guys know, I love this thing. So being able to switch from this to the tripod is lovely, which is why I'm using two of the same uh, little ball heads. So removing this and gonna flip this in post. And so that just clips into there, zoom, and that's it. Really nice and easy, and uh, now I'm shooting tabletop videos, so I love this. And by the way, this piece right here has a little bit of grease between the two pieces, and you can actually grease it up a tiny bit more if you want it even smoother, but actually that uh, can create some nice sort of circular motion with the camera for you know shooting video, that's actually nice and smooth, surprisingly smooth. Um, so, I mean, this is sort of turning at the same time as moving, so it's not exactly the same as a slider, but still very, very interesting to have something like that. And potentially what that could do is give you something that can go around an object. So for example, if you connect something at the top of the uh, tripod here, uh, let's say, you know, something you need to uh, photograph or film uh, around, then this can give you a really nice smooth uh, turning motion around that subject. So that is a really, really cool addition that is a little bit of a specialty use, but it's really cool that this thing is smooth and allows you to do that. Now, what would be really cool to see is either a DIY or an actual thing that you can buy that makes this piece actually be usable as a slider, because right now it really isn't. There's no way that's uh, gonna be smooth enough, but because you already have this piece that can go vertical, maybe build something on top of this that can slide backwards and forwards. Uh, might be fairly easy to do with three bearings that fit around it. And I have to say this is by far my favorite lightweight tripod so far. All right guys, thanks for watching. Visit my channel for lots more awesome filmmaking and photography videos like lighting techniques, DIY projects, behind the scenes tutorials, cameras, lenses, adapters, shoulder rigs, stabilizers, flashes, LEDs, microphones, bags, straps, studio backgrounds, tripods, float heads, sliders, multi-tools, and lots more cool stuff.